The Shoei RF1400 might be my new favorite helmet. It might be the best helmet out there. Or is it? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got another helmet review video for you guys today. It's gonna be a good one. Today we have got the Shoei RF1400. Um, this is kind of their middle of the line, kind of between sport bike and cruiser helmet, but I think it is definitely a little bit more speed oriented. Um, this thing's a great helmet, man. It's awesome. I, I've been riding around with it now for a few months. I really, really like it. There is one thing about it though that might kind of be a bit of a fatal flaw, but before we get into that, I want to take you guys through some of the features on it, kind of show you around a little bit because I really do think that this is a great helmet. So first things first, um, I have obviously changed this shield out for um, this gold one that kind of matches my, my bike, my aesthetic, but the real game changer for these show is definitely their transition lens. There's a couple guys that I ride with that use them. The transition lenses are awesome on the showies. Um, they really do go from like totally clear to dark enough to use in like really bright daytime. Unfortunately for this model specifically, those things have been sold out and they're not coming back for like another eight months <laughs> as of the time of recording this video. So that's, that's great. But um, got this cool gold one on here. It's pretty, it's, it's pretty nice. I do like it. As far as the shield is concerned, pretty standard, pretty straightforward. It's got this nice little button lock down here at the bottom. I'll try to show you guys that so you can see it. So basically you just hit this button and that's what actually unlocks the shield, allows it to come up like that um, right here. And then when you pop it all the way down, you kind of push it down a little extra. You hear that nice solid click. Um, the venting on this helmet, really solid as well. We've got a chin vent right down here. We've got three vents up on the top. So when all of those are open, the venting has actually been really good. It hasn't gotten super hot on me, which is surprising. But the biggest thing that I would say that this helmet has got going for it, 100% is how quiet it is. I've never worn a more quiet helmet. Couple things that you can do to kind of enhance how quiet it stays for you. Right down here, this chin curtain, it comes with it, but it doesn't actually, at least mine didn't come with it on. So once you put this on, it even cuts more wind noise. That's really nice. The liner of it, super, super thick, nice and cushy, nice and comfortable. Really like that. Fits nice and snug. DOT and Snell approved. I think it's, it. you can feel the quality really when you get it. And I think dollar for dollar, it, it competes with any of the top helmet manufacturers as far as like performance and safety. I think Shoei have definitely put one in the ballpark. Now, there's one thing about this helmet that I don't like. I know it sounds crazy because I just spent the last five minutes raving about how good it is. And I stand by all that. I really think that all of the positives definitely exist. But for me, there's one big negative that is a big standout, but I can't really tell you about it as well as I can show you. So that's what we're gonna do. Alrighty guys, so here you go. You can see the helmet all nice and shiny and looking good. Hopefully there aren't any, uh, you know, fingerprints on the visor or anything like that. But now you can see what it looks like on the bike. Uh, but more importantly, I really hope you guys can hear what is my absolute favorite part of this helmet, which is it's so quiet like it cuts so much noise like wind noise especially i can still hear my exhaust which is nice but probably the most quiet helmet i've ever worn we're about to get on the highway here because i want to show you guys just kind of the one honestly the one issue that i have with it a lot of the time i actually like to ride with my face shield up like this um just kind of you know hotter days or not even just kind of when i'm cruising along i just like to be able to feel the breeze and everything so because I like to ride with the face shield up sometimes and just wear some sunglasses underneath like this, shout out to Heat Wave by the way, it leads to one little potential problem with this helmet. 
and that is as we uh, as we get up to highway speed here when you get on the highway and you start going along at a pretty good clip like I am now it does that <laughs> it just kind of flips down now originally I thought that that was like actually a design flaw uh, I thought that that was something that I just got a busted helmet or something like that, so I took it back to, I think I got it in cycle gear, went back and they're like, no, actually that's a feature that Shoei put in specifically so that when you're going up at high speeds on like a sport bike, because traditionally I think this is more of a sport helmet, your shield will actually close automatically so that the wind doesn't pull your head back or potentially like rip your shield off if you're going, you know, really, really fast. Now, it's not a huge issue if you're not going, you know, highway speed or, or a good amount of speed, but I kind of ride pretty quickly, I should say. So, you know, for me, it's, it's kind of at the point where it's like, I either gotta just get used to riding with my shield down all the time, which I know is also safer anyway, so probably end up doing that. Or I could also look into another one of Shoei's helmets, the RFSR. That's more of a cruiser style helmet. A couple of my buddies have that one. Um, and it, it, it stays locked when you put it up. You know, it doesn't just pop down on you. So we'll see what I end up doing. But I just kind of wanted to go through this real quick with you guys. Show you my thoughts on the helmet. Let me know. Um, do you guys like it? What helmet are you rocking and why? That would be something I would be interested to know from you guys. If you guys have any other recommendations, any other helmets you think I should try, if you've liked the helmet reviews, um, you know, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'm about to pull up to the gym here, so I'm going to cut this one off, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, I will, uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Later.